This is Story to Lalamore, episode one. The man in the attic. Is that good? No, it's cramped. Is that twice that we should do this in your house? Your house is closer. Hi, I'm Kier, and this is my assistant. Assistant. Rion, we talked about this. Don't worry, I'll just erase it later. Hi, I'm Kier, and this is my co-host. My co-host. Rion. And this is the first episode from Stories of Lalmore. We decided like a week ago to make a podcast. Are you sure you should be throwing it like that? What is this anyway? It's a recorder! Why? Because we're going to make a podcast. About what? What a great question, Pastor Rion. It turns out our first episode will be about... A murder. Kirith. A murder most foul. Well, they are dead. At least... Maybe. Probably. Probably. Yeah. Maybe we should start with a clip. Yeah, the clip! It flashes when it's recording, right? Record. Yeah, it's on. Unless this means it's not record. Hello? Uh, this is Kirif reporting from my bedroom. And. Ah! So there was this noise like thunder, but it was more clattery up on the roof. It woke everyone up, but. God, you so Sorry. Thanks, babe. We're doing everything we can. Maybe if we contact the coven. You know we can't do that. Ah, he's getting blood on the f***ing carpets. Mom? Oh no, this is bad. How are we? We don't have to. We Stay in your room, sweetie. But... Stay in your room. Okay. I should have stayed inside. Ooh, that feels really professional. It's a very good clip. It's a very, very good clip. Oh, they don't know, so I think you have to describe what you saw. Uh, it was sort of like... Womb. Womb. Yeah, like womb. Like this. They can't see that. Uh, okay, so it, it was... so. There's this big carpet we have up in the attic. Well, so, sort of not really attic, it's sort of an attic. It's where we keep all my grandma's stuff, so it's more just boxes and boxes of Grandma Otho and all her papers. She used to have this big carpet that was all red with patterns that wheeled and wheeled and wheeled. That's the carpet my moms were carrying down the steps. But it was shaped all wrong, like they had something in it. A body. Yeah, a body. And what did you do? I closed the door, Rian. Why? Because I would have gotten in trouble if I got caught. Plus, the carpet was leaking. Ew. Exactly. Anyways, I was too scared to leave my room, but I couldn't go upstairs by myself, which is where you came in. Rian! Rian! I have chess. Rian! Chess, Kirith. Wait! It's a murder, Rian! A what? You're not listening! A murder happened- No, wait. That's not right. There's been- a uh, there's been a murder. Yeah, that. There's been a murder, and we have a chance to solve it. Why would I solve a murder? Because a man or a person or someone, somebody's dead. Do you think we should solve it? Rion! Chess. Rion! Hey, one of the freaks is yelling at a Shut door. Shut up. <laughs> She's trying to infect me with her weird magic. <laughs> She's gonna catch us. Uh, you don't even like chess anyway. You're still here? You don't even like chess. Can't miss it. You know that. Even to solve a murder? Is that your recorder? You don't believe me. Why are you recording? I said we were going to start a podcast. You say we're going to start a lot of things we never do. I don't. Last month you wanted to be a babysitter. A week before you wanted to be an adventurer. Rian. You hate dirt. It gets everywhere. 
Come on, you have to have time before you have to go home. I'm supposed to be in the library. It's a murder, Rion. <sighs> who died? I don't know. Then who are the suspects? Uh, my mom's... Kirith. What? Well, they were carrying a body downstairs and Rion, I'll explain it later, but it can't be here. Then where? Uh, you're not coming to my home now, are you? Your moms could be murderers. I said they were suspects. I don't think they did it. Then why are they suspects? Because I have a recording of them hiding the body. I ha we have to clear their names for somebody finds out. Well, we can't go to my house. So, my house. With your mom's... Yeah. <sighs> sure. And here we are! How are we actually supposed to solve a murder? Well, the first thing we need to do is go to the scene of the crime. Upstairs? Is there another way to look for clues? Because I I'm really asking. I'm really hoping there is. I don't think so. The best place to look for clues is where the crime took place, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. Okay, but the problem is... I'm not supposed to be up there. You're not supposed to be trying to solve a murder at all. Good point, but if we're going to go up there, we have to be super quiet because Mom is in the kitchen. I can be quiet. Okay, let's go. Okay, this way. You have to be lookout. What am I supposed to say if she finds me? I don't know. Lie? I'm bad at lying. No, you're not. Everyone just says that. Wait. Everyone? Rian, that doesn't matter. Hold this. Okay. Okay. Everyone? Oh. Eh. Mm. Can you just use small magic to pull it down? Do small magic. Oh, you said you could use it now. I can use small magic, just not small. Hand me the broom. I thought you said you got it. I fixed the spell circles, not the small magic part. Oh. Hurry. I got it. Why is it so long? I don't know. Did you notice? I think. We're safe. Rian, what is it? Hurry up! These don't look like stairs that someone dragged a body down. What do body dragging stairs look like? Bloody? Body dragging stairs look like normal stairs! Bloody stairs! So they just stay bloody forever? Mama is the queen of cleaning! Do we pull it up behind us? Only if you want to get stuck up here. Then? We have to make this quick. Look for clues! Wow. Your grandma sure had a lot of stuff. Yeah, it felt like it wasn't this much when it was in our house. <gasps> See? This is where our carpet was. And this is what you heard. What? Oh. I think we have to describe it. There's a huge hole in the ceiling. There's a huge hole in the ceiling. Do you think whoever it was fell through? From where? Off their broom. Maybe. What kind of witch falls off her broom? Eep! Is your attic haunted? It didn't used to be.
Okay. What's the next step? Well, we have two clues. Your mom said they couldn't get help from the coven. Uh-huh. And it looked like somebody fell through your roof. Uh-huh. All we have to do is look for a missing witch. But if it was a coven witch, wouldn't we just get help? What if it wasn't a coven witch? What if it was a visitor? <gasps> it's time for interviews! This is Kirith, about to go to our breakfast table to interview our two top suspects. Mom and Mama, I, I mean, Tommy and Hugh. Mama, I mean, Hugh is alone. <laughs> what are you doing? Setting the atmosphere. Oh, are you? What exactly are you setting the atmosphere for? Yeah, I, I wanted to talk about the crash on the roof a few days ago. Oh, baby, that's nothing to worry about. But you told me not to leave my room and- And that's all there is to it. Me and your mom took care of it. But you told me not to leave my room and- Here. Did you brush your teeth, young lady? Mama! Here, I love you, but you really need to brush your teeth. But- No buts. Go brush your teeth and no more silly questions, all right? Mama! Breakfast is almost ready. Bye! What? Nothing. She's a tough nut to crack. I'll try mom after I brush my teeth and eat breakfast. We need to order more of the latest edition. Mom? <laughs> What's up? I wanted to talk about the noise I heard upstairs. Yes, ha! Okay? What crash? I don't think I said crash. You didn't, did you? That's because there wasn't one. Nah, there wasn't a noise either. The crash woke me up. And how do you all go to Grandma's room? And don't you have school right now? Um, I have time. I'm really busy before opening today. People are clamoring at the door. No, they're not. <laughs> Your mom always said you were bright. Why don't you talk to her? I tried, but she wouldn't. Oh, look at the time. You're almost on time for being a little late for being early. Come on. There's no harm in getting to school a little early. Did Mama pack your lunch? <laughs> yeah, but... Then out you go. Have a wonderful day at school, sweetheart. What? Mom! And don't you dare unlock that door. We don't need the whole neighborhood waking up again. This is going to be a lot harder than I thought. Uh, Rian says I should describe things more. So, this is Kirith in the school cafeteria. Um, there are tables and chairs, windows, and Rian is sitting all the way in the corner. Hi, Kirith. Tell your moms I said hi. Yes, ma'am. Rion's the best at following the emptiest tables. Oh, Rion's smaller than me. And he's always got his hair in this really neat bun. It takes him forever to do it. He says it every single day. Says it's about keeping a good image. But everyone already likes him. Everyone. Teachers, classmates, parents. What are you talking about? You. Oh. Was it nice? I mean, I was explaining how everyone likes you. Did you describe yourself yet? Well... Kirith is the tallest person in our grade, and she always has her hair tied up wrong. Wrong? It's wrong. How's it wrong? Her favorite color is purple, and she always has it somewhere on her. How's it wrong, Rion? Did your moms tell you anything? No, but they're being super weird about it. I got kicked out of the house a full 30 minutes early. So, you don't think we're going to help? Question. One! Then, the covens. Rion! I know how you feel about them, but, but if they belong to one of the sister covens, they might. Look, I made a map. You made a map? Of course I made a map. Uh, listeners, it's, uh, um, map? It looks like a map. It's a map of Main Street. 
I put stickers on where we can find one person from each coven who might know if there was a visitor. Then, these are three people who talk to the people who run the bed and breakfast. Nobody can visit a coven, Rion. Kira. Fine, people from sister covens can, but I'm not in one of those either, and I don't want to talk to them. I like you better anyway. They don't hate you. I know. It's for the investigation. But... They still like you, Kirith, and they know you. I know! I know they like me! That's not the problem! And we need them to help clear your parents' name. Right? Right. Then it makes sense that you have to be the one to talk to them. Would you fall off your broom doesn't belong to any coven or sister coven around here anyway. We'll check the bed and breakfast first. I haven't heard anything about... Hmm, the witch disappearing. Why'd you ask? Uh, no reason. I just heard people talking is all. Mm, well, Mr. Gray was complaining about someone disappearing before paying the tab yesterday. Really? But you know how Gray is. Always bad with a new technology. Told him they probably paid online, but you know how he gets. How does he get? Uh, uh well... Kirith! Oh, right! Never mind! Uh, thank you! Thank you. No problem. No. Don't you go bothering Mr. Gray about this, okay? Bye, Mr. Mella! Kirith! Rion, come on! Kirith! Mr. Gray runs a bed and breakfast by the river, right? Yeah? Should we say something about it? Is he following us? I don't hear anything. Okay. I hate running. Are you even tired? Not the point. Uh, there are three inns in town and a big hotel. Only Mr. Gray and the hotel are by the river. But if people are at the hotel, that usually means they don't want to talk to us. Why do they come here? I don't know, but they definitely wouldn't have a witch flying over my house. Everyone who stays here takes a train. After this, I have to go home. Oh, okay. Tell your family I said hi. Uh-huh. Um, we're close to Mr. Gray's bed and breakfast. It looks like a house, except for the sign. It's really close to the river, so it's always full when it gets warm. It has a big wraparound porch. That you can definitely seek under and sometimes find Miss Lizzie. Miss Lizzie is Mr. Gray's cat. She's a tortie. She's very nice. Miss Lizzie! Gotta stop getting locked out. <laughs> Mr. Gray! Afternoon, Kareth. Hurry on. Hi, Mr. Mr. Mello said somebody skipped pay. What? Oh, I'm gonna... We wanted to know what you knew about. Why? Because we're making a podcast. A podcast? About what? Dashers? Kareth. like a criminal case. You know, I... But, oh, sorry. But we could help you find them. Maybe. I bet everyone in town will be listening. It's not that important, Kirith. It's just the off-season. Money's just a little tight. But if we find them, we'll have to pay. Or or maybe work off a cost, right? You always need more help. I said it's not important. Now get out. Okay. Well, since we came all the way down here. Could we maybe sign the guest book? <laughs> Go ahead. But you have to leave right after. Kay. Okay. Is there a reason for the bell? I don't know. Maybe it's good luck. I've never heard of a good luck bell before. Did you really only write your name? What else was I supposed to write? Like this. <clears throat> Madam Higgledy Piggledy of the Richmond Estate. My husband left me millions and now I travel the world. This is the best bed and breakfast I've ever seen. Oh. Yeah. Now leave. Bye. Get out. Bye, Mr. Gray. Come on. Bye. Stop pulling. Stop pulling. Miss Lizzie, why won't you learn? Well, that was a bust. No, it wasn't. Oh, what? He won't even talk to us. So even if we know where the mystery person was staying, 
We can't find out if Fairbrook's hers who fell through my roof. They signed the guest book. What? It's like Mr. Gray said. It's the off season. There's been one person there this whole week. Rian, you're a genius. What's your name? Mir Winserin. Love you too. This is Kier, recording from Under the Covers. Uh, so I typed Mira Winsor in on my phone, and I was right. Take that, Rion. He doesn't belong to any of the covens around here. Or any of our, I mean, their sister covens. He's from the city. He's part of a, well, I don't know the name, obviously, but he's one of those new covens that can cast with their phones and junk. Spell apps. They're so lucky, I still have to draw things. There are lots of pictures of him. I think he likes going to clubs and stuff. He knows a lot of people. But none of these pictures show what he would look like if he crashed through a roof and got wrapped up in a carpet. So I don't know if that was him. They said he was heavy. He looks really big. He's taller than almost everyone in the pictures, so that matches, but... Oh! He worked at the Trusty Cape Hobby Stop. Do you think... Um... You've reached Fog Trusty Cape Hobby Shop. Hi, I... We are open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. and Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Okay, After I... After the tone, please leave oh. your name and number and we will return your call as soon as possible. Hi, I'm Detective... Detective Kirith, and I'm conducting an investigation. Has one of the people who worked there... Disappeared. Do you know where Mir Winston is? Um, my phone number is. Ah, I got it! I got it! Answer it. Uh... Hello, is this Detective Kirith? Uh huh. Detective. Shh. Yeah. I called yesterday about Mira Winsorin. Yeah, I almost didn't call you back because you sound like you're what? Eight? No. Twelve, whatever. But we are getting kind of worried. He was supposed to be back yesterday and like, he hasn't called and... Do you know where he is? Uh, no, bye. Why did you hang up like that? What was I supposed to say? I think my mom's carried his body down the stairs. You could have lied. Uh Anything? Nuh-uh. It's gone. Wasn't that the last phone your mom was going to get you? It lasted a whole month. I was so careful. So, what are we going to do now? You're going to have to call Mama's phone to get to me. No, not that. The ghost. Oh. Right. I could try to talk to her, maybe. What, like a seance? Rian, I can't do a seance. I can just try really, really hard to cast a spell so that he can talk to us. Isn't that the same thing? No. Wait, how Since is it? we have it? his name and... Are you sure you can do it? It's not small magic. As long as it's not small magic, I can probably do it. Why do you even know that spell anyway? I wanted to tell my grandma that I could use magic. Did it work? No. Then... How do you know it'll work this time? I don't. Can you pick up this flower? It grows outside the library. I can't come to your house tonight. Not even to solve a murder? I'd have to skip the student council meeting. That's what the vice president is for. Everyone else skipped at least once. I'm not everyone else. Do you even like being president? It's an important job. Then what about tomorrow? Can you come over tomorrow? After chess. I know you don't like chess. I'm good at it. That's not the same thing. Tomorrow. This is Kira. And Rian. From my attic. 
My moms are both working with bookstores, so we have maybe 20 minutes for one of them comes up to check on us. Rian! I got the flowers and a piece of carpet your moms didn't clean. We had to cut it with a box cutter I'm not supposed to touch. Are you sure they won't mind? It's too late for that, Rian. It's not going to grow back. Kirith! You worry too much. Kirith! Shh. We need to put everything in the middle. And all I have to do is finish the last line. You carved it? You worry too much. Anyway, you have to put your hands there. Here? Little to the left. Here. Hmm. Maybe you were right the first time. Is this even gonna work? Maybe. And now what? Now I say the magic words, and I hope I don't break all the light bulbs in the house. What? It happened last time. Now this still feels weird. Sorry. Is that it? Me? I didn't burn out the light bulbs this time. Did it work? Uh... Uh, hey! Rian! Wasn't this what you wanted? I didn't think it would actually work! Why did we- I didn't think it would work! Hello? Oh. Hi, sir. My name is Rian. I'm Kira's friend. I'm Kira. We wanted to know about how you- Did my moms kill you, sir? What? No, they're, they're keeping my body safe. I'm sorry to tell you this, sir, but I think we're doing an awful job. You were carried out in a carpet. Oh, oh I don't know. Yes. You know? No. They're storing my body in the hospital. I uh, fell through your... Got, got hurt pretty bad. bad. I, I think they didn't like me messing up the floor. So my mom didn't kill you? No, no. no. One, one of them found me here and the other contacted the necromancer. They say I'm stuck here until next Halloween. When, when she, she comes, comes back in town. Ah. Uh, do, do you think ghosts show up in recordings? Uh, I don't know. Why? They're recording a podcast? And that's how we solve the mystery of Mr. Winsorin. We're reporting in from my room. He says this is the third time he's fallen off his broom like that, but the first time he's ever gotten this hurt. He's not that great of a witch. Or maybe we're just not training them right. Anyway, we have a ghost in our attic now, so that's new. If you have been trying to call Mr. Winsorin, you can reach him through the Something Witchy Bookstore. Don't tell my moms how you found out that he's here. Is there anything you want to add, Rian? This was more fun than I thought it'd be. Really? More fun than chess? Yes. Yes! Check us out next time in Stories of Lalmore. Maybe we'll get to solve another murder. said I have to do housekeeping stuff. Um, <clears throat> Stories of Lalmore is made by the It Me Podcast Production LLC. All voices are done by me. Transcripts from the episode can be found in the link in the description or at itmepodcast.com where you can also find coloring pages, bonus materials, and other podcasts. Letters can be sent to storiesandlalmore at gmail.com. If you want to support the creator, rate, review, comment, or tell a friend about the show. If you're a grown-up and you want to offer more support, you can also think about donating to their Ko-fi or Patreon linked in the description. The music this episode was guitar beat by Kirk Osamayo. And our outro is Sticky Bee by Josh Woodward. Both songs come from the Free Music Archive and are distributed under the Creative Commons Attribution License. Uh, is that it? Uh, but yeah.